Right now, outside the convention center, we have a group of five people collect data in real time and push it back into our geo database. So it's like our team's already started. So let's go ahead and show you. You're going to be using an out of the box application to record the location of various assets and their condition. So as they collect data, they're going to be pushing it back through their cellular network into our geo database so we can access it right here in our office. The application they're using has been configured and deployed without any custom development. So we can use that data as they're creating it to kind of track their status, to see where they're creating the information. This is a lot different from field workflows of the past. Before, information was collected in the field and then had to be re-entered back into our office systems, resulting in costly time delays, as well as data re-entry issues. But now, like we saw in the video, data can be collected once at the source and seamlessly synchronized or pushed back into our enterprise systems. So while they'll continue to collect data, I'd like to show you the application they're using. If we look at my Windows mobile phone, we can see the out-of-the-box RGS mobile client that they're using. RGS mobile uses local data, or local representations of our geo database that are stored on our device so we can operate completely disconnected from the network. We, the data on this device is defined or initially created from an RGS server service. This allows us very easily to create a map and publish it through RGS server for mobile use. Since they have the convention center covered, let's go ahead and, and create some data around the pool of the Marriott. To collect information, I can easily select the type of information to record and then pick its location on the map. If I was outside, I would be using my GPS to drive this location. But since, since we're indoors, we can manually pick that location on our screen using our reference data. We then need to fill out the information that's tied to our asset. And just like dealing with our geo database in the office, our advanced functions are also carried out in the field. So like our dropdowns, our subtypes and domains are available for our field use. Now I've created this asset on my device, but you won't notice it back on our web browser yet. This information is stored on my device because we're operating disconnected. But at any time, I can synchronize or post my changes through our network. And as I do this, let's watch our web map, and we'll see this data quickly show up back. So on that refresh, we've now seen this asset that I recorded on my device is now visible and available for anyone in our enterprise to use. So we can see the assets back there, as well as any information tied to it. And just looking at our timestamp, we can see that data was just recorded a few seconds ago. So that quickly, information now can move around your organization, between your field and your office. This also means that we can get this data back on our device. If we go back to our phone, if I want to see the assets that are being recorded right now outside in the lawn area, I can quickly synchronize or pull down all those changes. This two-way communication allows both our office and our field staff to stay up to date. They now have access to all information as it's changing or it's evolving in our organization. Let's go ahead and quickly search through and take a look at all the assets that were recorded today. Our list will give us, we can quickly see all, the type of asset as well as who recorded it. We can then see where Evan's been today. We can take a look at his location on the map and access the detailed information behind that asset. And just to point out our timestamp, we see this data was recorded just a few minutes ago. This shows you the power of RGS Server and RGS Mobile. It allows for real-time data exchange. It allows both your office and your field staff to be more efficient while making better, more coordinated decisions. So this week, we actually set up, if you'd like to try out an RGS Mobile application, you need to have a Windows Mobile 5 or 6 touchscreen device. We let, we're going to send an email to tryrgsmobile at esri.com or visit the user conference blog, and we'll get you instructions on how to set up and use one of these applications to record locations around the San Diego area that you had fun.